uh, is the only perfume I've ever heard of that has both a tea and a coffee note in it. It's like trying to fuck with my <laughs> my head or something. Tea or coffee? Fuck it, both. Um, and it's kind of so it's got this kind of smoothed out um, uh, tea that sort of makes everything feel like lovely and and uh, chill. And it's got this kind of quite buzzy coffee sort of vibe to it. And there's leather and there's fuck knows cardamom. Um, no idea what else loads of other shit and it's just it's somehow brilliant and it's the first thing in quite a while that's just made me all fucking Gooey. giddy about perfume again um you know every so often one of those things comes along and it's like woo uh, this shall has I, done it for me sh- shall i be contrary and read my review Oh, God, you're going <laughs> to fucking savage it, aren't you? You <laughs> asshole. Well, Go I mean, on, read your because, review. Well, I mean, it just, just shows you what a little tinker perfume is. Because I think we have, we have very different views, it's all. It doesn't mean one of us is right and one of us is wrong. Well, it, it does. Means it means different. I'm right and you're wrong. Well, I mean, that's how it works. I, I, I put a fairly nice amber. It's quite honeyed on the initial spray, which makes it a bit cloying for my taste. I can't get away from the slight plasticky vibe, though. The hype is not for me. Edit. Retried it again a few years later, and yeah, there's still a plasticky thing in the dry down. Mech. Edit, edit. I keep getting whiffs and thinking, oh, that's nice, but on closer inspection, it's just a cheap Christmas candle. Um, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not having that shit off you. You can you can fuck right off. That's fine. You, like what a buzzkill you are, honestly. <laughs>